warning contains scenes that some viewers may find extremely upsetting. You have been warned. The 2022 Call of Duty Mama for two game has been the biggest fuck you I think ever that ever came out for um, Activision. Pretty much, it's literally designed for bad players in mind. The wrong decisions get made, and overall, it just fucks over the good players in this. Good example is the audio is still too fucking loud. We've complained about it over time and time again. Audio is just too fucking loud. We complained about the poke system not being able to give us the pokes right off the bat. We have to wait to pretty much the end of the round to even get our third tier poke, which is usually ghost or fix or quick fix. Um, the wrong guns gets nerfed, like the new, uh, what is it, the TR Gias or whatever it's called, the 76 Gias or whatever. That gun could have been the competitor towards the TAC-56, but instead of nerfing the TAC-56, they nerfed the uh, 76 Gias uh, gun. Um, they've nerfed the Doom Shot gun when everybody was complaining about it, when there was, should be no reason to have nerfed it to begin with. Um, stuff like that will... They know of the stupidest shit in almost every Call of Duty game from 2019 and up. They have not been able to balance guns properly since then. Um, anything before that, the original Modern Warfare games, the Black Ops series from um, all the way up from Black Ops 1 to uh, 4 has been really good. And I just don't think they can ever capture a good game anymore. But overall, just this Call of Duty game has been the worst that they've ever released, um, in my opinion. It's the worst one that they ever added to the series, and I'm and Activision should be ashamed that they allowed Infinity War to do this. Um, I hope Infinity War just does not make a good game. The very first game that they ever made that was good was the original first fucking Call of Duty game. After that, I just think they have just made bad decision after bad decision after bad decision after that, and... Honestly, it's kind of shocking and surprising that they have been allowed to make games to this day still. Such Hammer Games doesn't really do too bad of a job on listening on what the community wants. And I'm talking about the Call of Duty community, not the five-year-olds who will follow their parents' credit card to buy a bundle or whatever. Or the or because they are on console and they fucking get aim-assisted help all the time. So I'm kind of hoping that we see changes in Modern Warfare 3. I hope aim. I hope uh, skill-based matchmaking is lowered. I hope aim assist is lowered or increased. I guess depending on how you which the, which way you look at it. In other words, I would like to see uh, aim assist kick in around maybe five to ten feet, not twenty feet, thirty feet. It shouldn't be kicking in that far. Aim assist should kick in at close range combat. If you try to shoot someone from far away, then you better have that fucking skill to do it, not a fucking bot that helps you. Um, I hope that we get correct gun balancing. I hope that with the high old kill rate that's gonna be in Modern Warfare 3, I hope that means that the TAC-56, the VAS-9, won't be able to compete very well. But the main thing that we're focused on is the TAC-56 and the VAS-9. Same with the MC, uh, w and the striker as well. I hope those got nerfed. I don't know. I just I stopped playing like S and D just because I was getting tired of getting you know one shotted across the map from somebody seeing their spawn so far back. That's the other thing too is camping should have been nerfed in some possible way. Maybe making it to well how it is now and in W three from what we know is that if you have ghosts in this UAV, you have to still keep moving to be off radar. If you sit and stay still, you are still showing up on radar. That's a good way to counter camping. Another good way that we have is covert sneakers, which is dead silence gear that we get right away when we start the game instead of having to wait till the last fucking, the rain for it to fucking like, you know, charge up. This is good. This way, the people that are sitting in a corner sound horn can't be able to do that very well or very little because they won't be able to tell which way you're coming from. That's going to be really good unless you jump or do some type of high high jump something or anything like that. Overall, I just think MW2 is just literally, like I said, it's literally the worst game that I think has came out of Call of Duty. Anything before Modern Warfare 2019 was 
battle. Anything from 2019, from Marvel 2019 and up has just been dog shit. Marvel 19 was just dog shit. Minus seeing that this game was just wrong, took everything wrong. They took everything that was wrong with 2019, Cold War, and Vanguard, and they slapped it in here, hopefully for the best, that it would work. When they made changes to stuff that they didn't need to make changes to, like slide canceling should never have been taken out, even though I don't do slide canceling, I don't know how to do it to be honest with you, but still it should never have been taken out because from my understanding that's been a staple in the game for so long. Uh, reload canceling has always been a staple in the game. It's always been there. I was used to doing it all the time, especially when I needed to. Dead science being a perk or gear up upgrade that you can have instantly off the whip was great. Um, having your perks right off the start was actually great. Stuff being able to be penetrated through when someone, when you know someone's camping was great. You can shoot them out of that corner or whatever and make, force them to move out of it was great. Overall, and most of the guns that, that we have were great and were balanced and now they're just not. It's pretty much dominated by tactics, sixes, best signs, and snipers. I hope that Sledgehammer Games literally told Activision and even and the um, investors to go fuck themselves and pretty much let us make the game that's going to make you money. Not make a game that's going to make you money for a short period of time. Let us make a game that's going to make you money long term investment because then people will keep coming back, keep buying more shit from you. It's best to have a good game than have more stuff that you buy from the game. Like all these last minute bundles that we had for the Halloween event was great but Look at all this time and effort that they took to put into MW2 with these bundles and shit that they could have put out. That they could have took the time and effort to fix the game. They were so focused on putting in bundles, skins, cosmetics, blueprints. They could have done, they could have taken that time and actually done something better with, with their time by making the game better. I hope Sledgehammer Games does a good fucking job, nails it, I hope. I mean, it's not going to be perfect, we know that. But I hope they actually listened to us. Listen to the actual Call of Duty players. They need to rely on people who are going to make videos, content about the game. That's going to have diversity, variety, showing all the good stuff about the game, including the bad. We're going to have bad stuff about the game. But if you can make the game to where there's more good than bad, and you can even fix that bad to correct it, that would be great, and we would have a fantastic game. I am happy to say, with great enthusiasm, and as the, with the great visualizing, visually has said, fuck you. This game is dog shit. This is the last fucking video I made. I've uninstalled this permanently. I fucking removed it from my computer. I removed it from my portable hard drive. I removed it from everything that I have on there, just so I can fucking not have to touch this game ever again. And I hope that such Hammer Games doesn't make us go back. I hope that everything we saw in the beta is what we get and more. So, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the co-op video that I have here. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. To let me know that you guys did enjoy it, please click that like button or let me know that you guys did. Also, comment down below what you guys want me to play or see next for a video. Till then, this is Game of Pony. Sign off.